And here we are today we're flying out the A5C, the Chinese Premium, at 10.0. And as long as this thing stays at 10.0, it's a great pickup. I do expect this thing, however, to go up and beyond. So take everything you see here with a grain of salt. I'm going to be starting off with the game here on Lizao Bay, Airspawn, one of the smallest maps in the game. It's an arcade map. And this thing has no business getting an airspawn altogether, let alone on this map. It's about one and a half minutes into the game and there is the enemy base already. And a little trick for you, if you are next to SAM size, the SAMs actually can shoot straight up. So if you keep your altitude a little bit and then dive in on them, these SAM sites are not going to be shooting at us. Look at that SAM launch, that's not going to pull up in time at all. And we can just kind of hang behind them, shoot the magic off and that's going to be kill number one. I can't get the lock on the second guy here because he's actually paying attention but you can see that the capabilities of that, the Aspon rushing over the enemy and then diving in behind him is very very strong and this is going to be the first game I did in this plane and you can tell by the fact that I forgot my emblem on my left wing. This is your average game or this is what it's going to look like. J25s and Harriers are going to merge with you. But the thing is, these planes do not have the energy retention to hang with you. And I will show you a little trick after this game that you can abuse for almost every plane in the game. And this thing, just the capability of almost staying at Mach 1 in a turn, yes you heard that right, is a little bit obscene. Aim9B shot our way by the J35A, no real problem, we just roll out of the way and that's not going to track. And here comes the F100. This is a little bit already of the trick that I want to show you, but I'll have a better example that will showcase it a little bit better. So what you do is you kind of just maintain Mach 9 point or 0.95 and you just go horizontal. I'm pulling fully with my keyboard right here and it looks like the J35A is gaining on me for a little bit. But you have to keep in mind he is cutting off into my turn and I'm going much much faster than him. So it gives him the illusion of him catching me. Well, in reality, I'm just building up an energy advantage, despite him being dead on my 6. F100 is going very slow. We did this little trick here. And this thing does not have the acceleration, the power, or anything really to keep up with that. So he stalls out. We gun him down. And I'm running 30 minutes of fuel here, which is not ideal, because the, the fuel consumption of this thing isn't the, the highest. You can easily run 20 minutes. You can probably even run minimum fuel. Rush in, shoot your magic off and go RTP. I do as well advise you to run the magics opposed to the aim 9 piece but that's going to be preference. I do think that the aim or the aim 9 piece are much inferior to these because these are faster, they pull harder and they have more range. So we go up and at this point I'm basically on the energy trap because that's not much they are going to be doing. I got my magic C, I got them warmed up. This J35A is not going to be dodging it. I switch my targets to him because he's on my friendly, he's more of a threat, and then I will go to the other one, and I will be able to kill both. At least that was the plan. Friendly A5C also shot a missile at him. J25 goes down, and that's going to be no kill for us. I was going to say kill number 3, but not actually there. You get an AV8A on R6. Dodging AIM-9Gs is a little bit of an art. It's quite easy to do, but if you don't know how to, they're very annoying to dodge, especially due to the range. The closer you are, the easier they are to dodge. So make sure to not stay at like 2 kilometers. Turn in in time. See the missile pull lead. Wait for it to get closer and then pull the other way. If you are far away enough, just try to outrun it. But AIM-9Gs have a stupendous amount of range. So be aware of that. They don't always go for flares and you only got 18 of them. So relying on them isn't probably the best course of action. AV-8 is now do dogfighting the A5. We will recommit to the fight here. We can easily pick him off as he's busy with someone else. And this is kind of how you fly this thing. You fly these things in packs. Because the moment you start being alone versus a lot of enemies, you simply do not turn well enough. The 23mm are not the best guns in the game. They're very annoying to aim. This plane is very annoying to aim as well, regardless of what guns are on it. It's a very stiff plane. The rudder isn't the worst, but it feels a bit bad. It just, it's kind of annoying to get your guns on and the 23mm leave a lot to be desired. And this is the quote unquote trick I wanted to show you. Especially with this plane, it's very prominent. f one force also benefit from this. But I got a MiG-21 on my 6 here. I ripped my flaps off because my old uh, keybind 
was flares and now have it on flaps so that's why I popped them now I'm popping the flares instead of the flaps well I already popped the flap off anyway so it doesn't really matter he has R60s it's a MiG-21 SMT and well he is faster than me while he outturns me and while he has R60s which will absolutely ruin my day there is a thing I can do to kind of just bully him dodgy R60 turn the afterburners off or flare a little bit and not the biggest problem in the world to have one guy on your six, but there's always a second guy right next to them. SMT is starting to get close here and look at what we are going to do. I'm going Mac point nine eight. He's getting very close because he is well faster than me. He just broke supersonic. He is a delta wing, he will lose a lot of speed. F one hundred also breaking supersonic just now because he's slowing down a little bit. And look at the speed difference. He is cutting me off, he is cutting inside of my turn and I am still outrunning him. I am completely draining this guy of his energy and there is nothing he can do about it. He is going to be trying to stay on this raid fight, he is trying to actually stay on me. Very bad idea, so I am going still 0.96, he is going nowhere near that. He is going 700 maximum right now, we are almost going to go double his speed. We dodge the water pistol because the... GSA 23 is an absolute joke of a gun and he breaks off because that's nothing he can do. Load factor prevents him from shooting the R60. He's too close to actually shoot the R60 if he leads it because it will then not actually track me. And I'm completely out of dodge. If this was one on one, if he was on my 6 like that, I would have kept this up for a little bit longer. Then you can go up, dodge the R60 with a flare and he stalls out and there's nothing he can do about it because I have magics. Here we go, try to get the shot in and you can tell that this plane is extremely stiff. Don't manage to get the guns on, he commits in a head on and that's going to be game. No kills, but keep that maneuver in the back of your mind because we're going to be using it throughout this game as well. A32A, a J35A, as well as a F86, F40, it's 3v1. I just took off, I still have two missiles and... How do I want to use these resources? Because I have two missiles, which means I can make this a 1v1 very reliably. But the A32 isn't much of a threat. So do I want to waste a missile on this guy? And the answer is going to be yes. Because I want to dwindle these numbers down as quickly as I can. But it doesn't matter how bad this plane is. This could be a prop for all that matters. And he can be a threat if I have to 1v1 someone else. So now I quickly created this. 2v2 or 2v1 J25 is gonna come in and if I had tried to dogfight the, J the A32A there and tried to kill him with my guns I would have probably spent a good minute maybe two minutes on him and that's time I don't have I sped this up a little bit but the A or the J35 is already right there and the J25 Draken is a little bit of a joke of a plane it doesn't deserve the 9.7 BR but you have to keep in mind that the J35 is very reliant on its missiles especially the J25D at top tier and this thing only has a 9 b so that's a thing you can do versus these planes which is in my opinion one of the most fun things to do in the game and that's stalling people out that turn much better than you because they think they can just hold that that damn elevator down but in the end they are just bleeding and bleeding and bleeding and look at that turning circle very much appreciated that he turned on the smoke because I can actually tell how tight he is turning now well, at least for the visual representation for the video. Look at this turn rate of this. He is completely cutting inside of me. But I'm still going 0.94. And I'm gaining distance. I'm still going the same speed. And now we go up. He can try to go up here. He can try to just pitch up and shoot a missile at me. But he doesn't have the AIM-9Js that the J35D has. So we just pull in. He has a very sharp turn here. Trying to pull head on. We just dodge that. We just go straight back up. And if he tries to crank that turn right after us if he tries to just stamp on the elevator trying to get the shot he will stall out and that's what exactly what just happened i go back down he is likely going to go for another head on i am simply not going to take it he sees i'm not going to take it and he breaks off as well so now he's going about four maybe 500 he's accelerating i'm warming up that magic and what is he going to do at this point he is simply way too slow and if he was the last one left I would have been able to kill him with guns, but I don't know where the F-40 is. And I do not want to get jumped as I'm mid-dogfight. Because I need to fight that guy as I'm going fast. And I need to have a, well, a big entry speed. 
So right now we are going to be looking for the F40. We're going to do a little bit of negotiating because he's staying near the airfield. And there he is. So I told him I will just dogfight you. And that's exactly what I will do. And you might think that the F40 will win the dogfight. And you are kind of right. The thing is... A dogfight means that I will just stay in the proximity and have a close range fight. And that's what I will be doing. And if I don't go horizontal, if I don't go downwards, this man will never have the energy to ever catch me. So we do the same thing as we did to the J25. We go up. I'm going Mac 1 right now. He will never reach that even in a straight line. And I'm doing a third. So he's going to be cutting me off yet again. I'm one kilometer away and I'm... He's turning after me. He's stamping on that elevator and I'm gaining distance, which indicates that I have an obscenely amount of energy over him. He does the right thing. He extends out. I'm expecting him to go back to the airfield because that's where he was at the start, but he was just gaining some, uh, some altitude, so I'll delete the chat message. No problems there. And we recommit. But I'm still going Mach 1 yet again. And he just did another 180. Flew straight for a little bit, accelerated, and did another 180. And his net energy out of that is going to be negative so we go straight back up he still has his missiles on so i do want to be somewhat careful of that but as long as i keep these loops pretty tight or at least as tight as this plane allows me to he will never get them over me i get on a six i break off turn the throttle back on and we go a little bit vertical notice he's going down to pick up some speed and we go back after him again and the thing that he's doing is he's slowly Converting his altitude into speed to keep dodging me. But after a while he's going to end up being at 100 meters. And then he doesn't have any options anymore. And he basically is forced to reverse me. The way he has to fly this is basically fly straight. Wait for me to get on him. And then reverse me. Problem is if I have magics that makes it a little bit more tedious. And this is what I meant with the A9s. If I keep it tight he will never get more from me. Got the afterburner. We are going to be turning back in. Should have air broken here. And here we go. Get the shot. And we completely whiff it. Because these guns are an absolute pain in the ass to aim. I suck absolute ass with them. Wasn't an excuse. I just suck with these guns. And I... The plane isn't helping me either. So. In a little bit of a spot now. Because I got a lot of trouble. Because I was very sure he was going to die there. Problem is I missed my shot. And now he's on my 6. He's outrunning me. That goes missile number two, which means I can be approximately 357 times more aggressive. He's gonna spray because I'm simply outrunning him. He doesn't have much options here because I have him energy trapped yet again after him being on my six. He breaks off because he doesn't want to stall out and create a repeat of what just happened. But I have one and a half minutes of fuel left and he is keeping his energy, which makes this very annoying. I don't have the time because of the fuel to really stall him out and burn my, my fuel away so I have to do something else and what I will be doing is try to be slower than him and this sounds very counterintuitive considering the amount of power that I have but I have not much time on the clock so what I will do is I will slow down quicker than him by throttling down because I will pull more AOA I'm heavier and I will simply out air brake him so to speak and I will stay on a 6 and the second he starts abusing the fact that I'm slower than him I can just throttle up because I have much more power than him. And this creates kind of a yo-yo effect. Where you can stay on this guy 6 forever. And there's nothing he can do about it. Because reversing someone at really low speed. That's slower than you. Is borderline impossible. What he can try to do is simply raid fight me. But if I throttle back up. I will win that in the long run. So at this point he's really just trying to fly defensively. Versus something that will never overshoot. And you will not be able to outrun. This creates this very awkward spot for him. Where he basically dies unless I miss all my shots, run out of ammo or run out of fuel. And both of these are very likely because I cannot aim this plane. And I'm very low on fuel. So, we just stay on him here. Get kind of bone of the rudder, I really should have hit that. And then we shoot him, we get a massive frame, frame lag. He stalls out, spins out, actually manages to hit me. And that's going to be game. I will show you the results screen and my thoughts on this thing. Should you buy the A5C? It depends. Are you looking for a long term grinding? Definitely no. Are you looking for a plane you will buy right now? Fly for the next two weeks and grind the entire line out? It's probably a great pickup. Because right now it's very consistent. Problem is if this thing goes up in BR. 
it will become borderline useless. Keep that in mind, it's an expensive pickup. Long term, probably not the best idea. Short term, you can grind very quickly with this thing. Games are short, kills are reliable, and the plane is pretty good. Hope you enjoyed it, hope it was helpful, and I'll see you all in the next one.